So you beautiful people, in today's episode of The Gunsmith, we are going to modify two weapons. In fact, that's a bit of a lie. We're actually going to modify three weapons, but the last weapon in the video is more of a bonus piece of content from myself, as it's a weapon that reminds me of something from Black Ops 2 that I was very fond of. So we're going to start with the Daddy, the SCAR 17, and we're going to change this into the SCAR Mark 20 SSR which is short for Sniper Support Rifle. Now, the biggest change that you will notice on this weapon to make, make it more identifiable as aside from a SCAR H or a SCAR L is to change the stock. Now, the Mark 20 has a non-folding adjustable cheek piece for obviously better target acquisition as this is a sniper rifle. So if we get the XRK Abelisk Pro and pop that on, already you'll start to see your Mark 20 take shape. Now it's a sniper rifle, so it's only natural that we put some sort of scope on. Now we're not gonna go for the traditional sniper scope here. We're going to go for the variable because this will allow you to be slightly more aggressive in closer range fights. So it makes this weapon even more viable when you are playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now, I don't know if this is a coincidence or whether I'm trying to use logic in the wrong place, but I'm under the impression that the SCAR Mark 20 is called the 20 because it's got a 20 inch barrel. I don't know if this is true, it's just a guess from myself, so anyone that does know, let me know down in the comment section. Now this still uses the traditional 7.62 ammunition, they tend to come with 10 to 20 round magazines, so we leave the standardised magazine in as that's already got 20 rounds in. Now the final piece to the puzzle for the Mark 20 SSR is going to be the underbarrel bipod. Now. I don't quite understand why they've chose to put it bang in the middle right next to the magazine at this where it should be close to the end of the guard. Um, I'm not quite sure, you've seen the picture at the start of the video, that's where it really should be. But this is more of a bipod slash grip, which I have seen on this weapon but again it is addressed at the front of the weapon uh, for better barrel support basically. Um, so I have no idea why it's there but that is going to be the closest you will get to a SCAR Mark 20 SSR on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. In that classic, classic flat dark earth colour that the SCAR comes in, it's just a signature of this weapon and this is definitely going to do some damage. Obviously, we're going to test this now and you're going to want to put this weapon into semi-automatic mode. So this weapon does come with its pros and cons. We'll pop it into semi-auto, so single fire only. It's very, very accurate, but that's one of the uh, cons straight away. The aiming down sight in this is you're not really going to get in into a close range battle without shooting some of your bullets off the hip. I mean, you can, you can shoot very, very accurately off the hip also, as you've just noticed there. Very brutal weapon though. They just rushed me there. <laughs> now, obviously the bipod will make you much more accurate, but it's it if you shoot this quick enough, you're going to kill people very, very quickly. It's got a seven. It's normally a free shot kill. Two in the head, it looks like. Personal radar, ready for deployment. Alright, if we back up a bit and just give this chance the guy a chance to come up here. It's, it's going to be very brutal for those of you who are less aggressive and play more passively. It's definitely going to be your type of weapon. This is absolutely melting people. And as you can see, I'm using it on semi-auto. I quite like this weapon. I really do. It does take quite long to reload, as you've just saw there. But... If you want a weapon where you can be more defensive with and pick people off or to really get the use of your trigger finger out of them, it's going to be the uh, Mark 20. What a what a nice weapon to use. It's a shame that it aims down, down sight so slowly, but as you can see, people from range are getting absolutely picked off. And that is the Mark 20 SSR.
Next up on the list is the chameleon of all weapons in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. That is the M4A1. And we're going to change this into the Colt LE6920, which is basically a M4 SOLCOM, which stands for Special Operations Command. Now, to change this particular weapon into the SOLCOM, first of all, you're going to need a true SOLCOM barrel, which is a 14.5 inch, and that is the FF. 14.5 inch tack light so once we equip this the natural thing to do is put the ammunition in that would make this a solcom weapon which is the the 458 solcom 10 rounds mag now i don't know why this is straight these ma these bullets go straight into the same magazine that the 556 would so it's more of bent shape more like a banana clip i'm not going to call it a banana clip but you get what i'm trying to get at there um so i have no idea why it's a straight magazine on this weapon now the special operations command wanted a a, a more substantial bullet to use and this is definitely a bigger bullet than your standardized five five six rounds here's a picture just so you can compare the particular rounds in question so to keep this from bucking like an absolute mule we're going to put the uh, foregrip on and then in terms of the uh, stock i'm going to put the uh the forged tack on and um i believe that is probably going to be i might put, put sleight of hand on just because we've only got 10 in the magazine and there is our Solcom m4 so here we'll have a quick old look at it and it is a nice looking weapon. You're probably getting bored of seeing the M4 because it's featured so many times but it just shows just how versatile this weapon is. But this one packs a different kind of punch comparative to the standardized weapon. So this is more of the connoisseur's choice for the M4. The slight of hand perk is definitely necessary as you've only got 10 in the magazine. In terms of killing power and stopping power, you can see you kill in three shots as opposed to the traditional four or five that you would use uh, in the standardized 556 five, ammunition. Just a bit more recoil also, but this is what you would consider to be a very, very powerful weapon. You can change it into a single fire weapon if that will give you what you believe would be a more sturdy, more realistic with your um, depletion of ammunition. Slightly do wish that it was more that you could have, but it may be worth putting a scope on this and trying to use it more of a sniper rifle. So it's got its pros and cons. Does it excel over the standardized 556 ammunition? Mm, probably not, but it is a nice setup to have just for some, some something a bit different. And that is the Solcom M4. The bonus to this video is the 357 Magnum. And basically, we're going to change this into something very reminiscent of the Executioner from Black Ops 2, which was really a favourite of mine. So you just need to put the snob nose on, put the snake shot on, and I'd like to put the uh, stippled grip on just so you get a sprint out speed that is much better. And then in terms of trigger action, the match grade trigger, which looks very nice. And that is basically what you would refer to as the Executioner from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Now, if you are someone that doesn't want to use overkill and waste your secondary for a shotgun uh, because you want to keep that perk, then the Executioner is going to be good for you. Pros, two shot kill or one shot kill in the head. The cons of the weapon, obviously the limited supply of bullets in the, in the, uh, in the revolver, which is six. And the fact that the range isn't the greatest in the world, but you can literally kill people with a one-shot kill to the head. So if it's close quarters you're going for, this is definitely a weapon that I would highly recommend if you don't want to use a shotgun. As the range is extended, you will notice it's going to take more shots to kill people. Um, tends to be about three or four. There's three there. I'm not even hitting them, that's uh, awful shooting from me, sorry. So about three shots to kill, but a very, very, very dangerous and underrated weapon. And that is the Executioner. 
Now, what would you say was your favorite weapon out of those three? The Executioner is definitely a underdog in the situation, and it's definitely an underrated weapon, in my personal opinion. If it's close quarters, indoors combat, then... If you don't want to use a shotgun because you don't want to use overkill because you want EOD on, for example, because of claymores, then the Executioner is a weapon that I would definitely consider. The Scar is an absolute beast. And then the Sulcum is more of a niche kind of weapon, but I'm sure it will have its fans also. So let me know down in the comment section, which was your favorite build from this episode of The Gunsmith. Guys, there are many buttons you could hit, but I like and subscribe button. I hope they took your fancy. And as always, guys, don't forget to stay on the right track. Peace.